Hello my lovies and welcome back to my channel. As promised, I am doing a tutorial for this look right here. I really don't know what to call it, but it is a look that I do when I need something a little bit more vibrant in my life, um, especially with the dreary weather. Just something about the subtle eyes with a nice pop of color and beautiful bold lips. You can also wear this with a nude lip, a red lip, a purple lip, a blue lip, a green lip, whatever you want to wear it with. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and if you want to keep watching. Bye! Okay so I have already moisturized with my Olay moisturizer and I will be using my L'Oreal Revital Lift Miracle Blur as my base slash primer. It just blurs my lines. This is my go-to. I love this. I can never stress this enough. Okay so I'm going to use a small amount with both fingers and I work it into my forehead. I use downward motions so that because I have dry skin, I don't want to make the skin flake or anything like that. I will be using CoverGirl True Blend Foundation. This is number 420 or number 2. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and going to put a small amount on my hand. And just dot it everywhere on my face. Next, I will be neutralizing my sallow dark circles or what I call sallow eyes with my Maybelline H Rewind and this one is in 50 neutralizer and I still haven't used up this product. You can use your hands, I use a brush and then my fingers. Okay, so I'm going to do my brows real quick and I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit and this one is in ash brown 963 I'm gonna dip my brush in both colors and my brows have been wild lately I really don't know how to tame these bad boys Next, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Lash and Brow Clear Mascara, and I love this. For $1, I do my brows with it, so I'm just going to brush down into the side. I'm telling you, these brows are crazy. There's no taming these girls. Next is on the eyes. I'm going to be using my Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eye Pencil and this is in the color Almond. Yep, Continuous Almond and this is in 04. Now this sets very quickly so I recommend do one eye at a time and blend your little heart out. I'm going to be using my Deluxe Crease Brush to blend the product in and I'm going to stir it up. Now when I first got this product, it left like some blotchiness on my skin and I realized that it was just setting too quickly and I wasn't blending it as well as I could. But now I use it and I actually like it. This is my second pencil, so. And I also use it under my brow. I'm 
I'm so serious in my video. And as you can see there, the difference is this has a nice canvas that I can start working with. So I'm going to do the other eye. Next, I'm going to be starting with a palette that my friend gave me. And this is the um, MAC palette with the Hello Kitty design that came out many, many years ago. The colors that I'm going to be using are these two right here. The first color is Cream Royal. And I'm not sure if they sell this color anymore. It is like a yellow shimmer. The other color I will be using is Paradisco, which the last time I checked, they did still sell this color. And this is absolutely one of my favorite shades from MAC. So I'm going to take the yellow shade and I'm going to put it on my tear duct. Well, I'm going to put it on the innermost corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to take Pear Disco, same 239 brush, just the other side. And I'm going to tap it on all over the lid. And this has like a yellow iridescence or goldish iridescence to it, which is really pretty. And I am blending it into the yellow or the golden shade. I'm going all the way up to the crease. Next, I'm going to take Max Kid Eyeshadow, and this is what I use to blend all my colors. This is like my go-to, and I am so surprised that I have not hit pan on this, but a little does go a long way, and I find that it suits my skin tone beautifully. I'm going to be using the Sonia Kashuk uh, 109 Blending Brush, and I'm just going to swirl the tip in, and I'm going to blend my crease. Just bring up the color up to almost under the brow. I'm just going to be adding some concealer and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this one is in the shade 20 Sand Sable. So next I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Eye Studio palette. This one is in 130 Autumn Dream and it is a limited edition shadow but you can probably find a beautiful purple of your choice. I'm going to be just using that one and I will be putting it as an accent color right under my lash line. I'm going to be using the Zero Dark Flurry from the Wet n Wild Tough Girl Collection. And I'm going to be using the bottom purple shade right here. I'm going to touch it up with a little bit of the dark shade in the middle. And I'm just going to hit the corners of the bottom lash line with it. So next I will be using Jessie's Girl Eyeliner and I love this eyeliner and I can never get it open. Oh, there we go. Ooh, it's going to start at the wing. Pull up. There you go. I will be using the Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeliner and this one is in what is this black point so this is the first color and I'm just going to be using it on my waterline and then I'm just going to tight line my eyes I can't put mascara on without poking my eye, but I do pretty good with tie lightning, which I am surprised. Let me not speak too soon before I actually do poke my eye out. I'm going to powder my face before I put on any mascara, you know, for lack of smudging. And I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Youthful Wear Translucent Matte Finish. Now, it says translucent, but there is clearly some color to it. So... I'm just going to be using a round brush. This has a beautiful scent to it. 
it just reminds me of something like my grandmother would wear so I don't know I kind of like it I'm going to be using the Revlon Photo Ready Bronzer and this is 001. This is amazing and I love it. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Contour Brush. And I'm just going to be kind of contouring and working it up. So I go into the hollows of my cheek and I don't go past where the eyebrows start. I just don't like doing it that way anymore. Whatever excess is on the brush, I work all the way up to my temples, right above my brow, and into the forehead. My crazy eyebrows are acting up again. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. blush brush, and I'm going to be using MAC love cloud uh, <laughs> love cloud blush wow they do not make this anymore i actually picked this up at a cosmetics outlet so cco I'm just gonna take the brush and just bring it up and just kind of blend i don't do this i just know where my cheeks are So next I'm going to be taking another e.l.f. Uh, blush brush. This one is, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little H on it that I markered it up with so that I know that this is highlight because I have mixed up the two before. And I'm going to be using my Mary Luminizer from the Balm to highlight my fluffy cheeks. And I'm just taking the highlight right towards the end of my eye. So I don't want to bring it over here because I have I have already you know some sort of lightness over here so I'm not worried about that and then I'm gonna bring whatever's on the excess brush and put it above my eye eyebrow so you can see it gives a nice sheen did you see that? did you see that? I hope you do I'm using the Revlon Lash Potion Mascara not my favorite but I figured out a way to work with this thing so I'm gonna curl my lashes real quick normally I don't curl them but I will curl my lashes for the sake of this tutorial and this is my elf uh, lash curler it's one dollar <laughs> one whole dollar so I'm gonna take my wand and personally I do not like how much product comes out of this brush as you can see there wiping it isn't gonna do anything so I'm going to take my napkin take it move product from it you guys can see that look at that now I'm gonna do my lashes this is just the first coat the second coat and third coat are I just go all out so this is just to get a decent first coat on my lashes without trying to poke my eye out okay so I'm gonna be using lashes by kiss and these are the zero threes and normally I don't cut them because they seem to fit my eyes pretty well so I'm just gonna use some tweezers using my Revlon precision lash adhesive if you're using lashes for the first time um, a good way to remember which lash goes where would be to hold up the package and how they come is how they go in so this lash go on this lash. oh this is gonna be weird like I don't see the much difference to my eyes except it adds more lashes all right let's do the other eye <laughs> oh. mm, you guys see me am i doing something weird more likely i'm doing something weird So for my lips, I'm going to be using Revlon's Color Burst Lip Balm or Matte Balm. And this is in the color Shameless, honey. Shameless. And I absolutely love, love this. And I'm going to be using it on the outsides of my lips.
And the reason why I'm working it in the inner corners of my lips and blending it in is to get that ombre effect. So it's very easy to do and very beautiful. Using the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick and this one is in Coral Berry. This is something I picked up about two months ago. I'm going to touch this up in the middle of my lips and it kind of matches my eyeshadow so that's kind of why I did it. Take my lip balm again. So there you have it. This is the complete look and I hope you guys like this. This was highly requested and I could never thank you guys enough for all the support that I've gotten, especially with my makeup look. Anyways, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let me know if there's anything else that I can film for you guys. And as always, I thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.